So it is now my distinct pleasure to present IEEE's most prestigious award, the IEEE Medal of Honor, sponsored by the IEEE Foundation. This medal is given to an individual for an exceptional contribution or an extraordinary career in the IEEE fields of interest. This IEEE Medal of Honor recipient's contributions to coding theory have been integral to enabling the success of today's high-speed communication networks. Half a century of influence, this is the legacy of G. David Forney, Jr. Forney has influenced virtually every major advance in the field of coding theory, providing solutions ranging from wired to wireless and from electrical to optical. In 1965, he introduced concatenated codes, widely used for space and satellite communications, mobile telephony, and digital video broadcasting. At Codex Corporation, he designed the first coding system to go into space, a NASA Pioneer deep space mission in 1968. Consider the founder of the modern modem. In 1970, Forney brought quadrature amplitude modulation to the marketplace, designing the first high-speed telephone line modem, revolutionizing the industry. Forney also introduced the Forney algorithm, used universally to detect computing error values. When turbo codes were introduced in 1993, Forney demonstrated that they could be described as codes on graphs. In 2001, his Forney-style factor graphs showed that one graph can simultaneously describe both the code and its dual, providing for new, efficient decoding algorithms. Today, every communication link, whether it be wired, wireless, or optical, has been profoundly influenced by Dave Forney. His amazing career has spanned theoretical and practical innovations and has left an indelible mark on the communications industry. A revolutionary thinker, G. David Forney, Jr. Thank you. It is a staggering honor that I received tonight, and I'm grateful to so many people from uh, the IEEE as an institution, and I know the hard work that goes into the whole awards program, the awards staff, the awards board. I think they've put on a marvelous show here tonight, far better than I could have expected, and I think we ought to thank all of them, first of all. And of course, I want to thank my colleagues, my good colleagues who nominated me and ultimately selected me uh, for this honor to add my name to the staggering honor roll of people who have received this award over the past century. Uh, it really is humbling, as other uh, speakers have said. And I want to thank all the family and colleagues and friends who have come to celebrate this with me tonight. Uh, I feel I've been a very lucky guy in my life in so many ways. I've been uh, lucky in my uh, family. I've been lucky in my education. Uh, I've been particularly lucky in my colleagues, uh, business, uh, professional, academic. Uh, most of my colleagues uh, I have found through the IEEE Information Theory Society, which is a lovely, small society with a very uh, good culture and ethic uh, that was set by the first information theorists, and that uh, it's our duty to pass on, and I hope it will pass on for a long time. It's always been a global society, and through that society I have colleagues throughout the world that I treasure greatly. And finally, I feel lucky in the profession I chose, which most of us tonight share. Uh, it's a, 
Uh, it's often said nowadays people are looking for something larger than themselves to be working on, uh, some mission, some crusade, some project uh, that they can feel uh, part of a large community in carrying out. Well, as I've said, I think when historians write the history of this era, our lifetimes, what was going on in the world and the human civilization during this time? Was it wars? Was it uh, some political event? I think they'll say the number one thing that was going on in the uh, development of the human race uh, was the extraordinary revolution in electronics, computing, and communications that we're also familiar with and that has impacted everybody's lives in the ways that are commonplace by now. But I think 300 years from now, people look back, they'll say, this is what's been happening. This is what was happening then. And I am very pleased uh, to have played a small part in this uh, huge accomplishment. Thank you very much. Thank you.